Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening the Rage of the Abyss booster box, uh, the latest set from Konami, and hoping to get the uh, the good quarter century secret rares, and maybe some of the good secret rares in there. There's a lot of good ones in here. Uh, Mulcharmy, obviously being the biggest one, and then Dominus Impulse also being a great hit, and uh, I think also uh, Deception of the Sinful Spoils being a good one as well, uh, pretty high up. The Ultras aren't doing hot dollar value-wise. There's a couple cool ones, uh, but in terms of dollar value hits, uh, not big, but uh, some cool arts. So I think that's kind of what it breaks down to for us is what do we care about in terms of dollars versus collections and uh, what we would add collection-wise based on that. So we'll see what we get. Obviously, any quarter-century rare uh, we would take hands down, no questions asked, and uh, any of the good secrets would take those as well. So, should be guaranteed a couple of them here, starting off with just a super, and uh, we'll see, we'll see if we get any good luck. Hasn't had any good luck recently though with, uh, with some of the openings, the uh, 25 anniversary 10 this year around. I bought one of them and uh, it ended up being a little bit of a bust, but I expected that. I would wait for those to come on sale uh, later on in the years as they sit on the shelves if you want to pick those up. And then this box, as I ordered it, came from its state of origin, came all the way down to my state, went all the way back to state of origin, came back, got stuck in my postal service uh, limbo for, for a couple of weeks. So... Uh, not been the best of uh, of luck with this set thus far, so maybe this will turn around. Maybe it won't. Uh, another super rare to start us off. So who knows? But it, it was supposed to be here. Uh, what is that? Thursday the Thursday the tenth, and got here Friday the eighteenth. So. I was I was really excited. It was very funny watching the uh, the tracking on the U.S. Postal Service site for it, uh, which you know we can come to my TED talk about how Amazon or UPS or FedEx should take over delivery of mail and packages in the United States, and we should go ahead and just get rid of Metallurgist as being just another super. Get rid of the Postal Service because uh, they lose money and they're just not great. Different story for a different day, though. Let me go. Let me know if you want to uh, come to that TED talk. I'll be I'll be glad to give you guys the breakdown on how the postal service loses money and doesn't make money at all. Which it's true, they're not supposed to, but at least brainwashing. Uh, but if you want to learn how my thoughts on why we should just get rid of them in general, I'll be glad to give that talk. Goblin biker, we got Inigon, and then another super rare. So. Hopefully, we're just missing all the good cards right now. Package did show up completely in pristine condition. Didn't look like it had been damaged. Didn't look like it had been tampered with or anything. No replacement labels. Just Wisconsin to North Carolina, back to Wisconsin, back to North Carolina. Just stuck in limbo. We got Zoa Retrain, Middle Ghoul, Valmonica. We got Supply Soldier. Tactical Trainer, and Primite Drill Beam as our first Ultra Rare for the day. All right. Six Strike, Butterfly Fish, we've got Chaos, Ruby Sapphires, Puppet Shark, Mank Man, Perform Age, Battle Swap, and Cursed Fire, King Doom Burst. Quarter Century Bonanza coming out soon too. Starting to get some releases here as to what's going to be actually in the box. Got Union Pilot. Uh, seeing some older cards. I think I saw that there's going to be a Sangan reprint in there. And the, with the Errata as well. Primite Roar. So it'll be, be interesting to see. 
obviously they have different slots for uh, vintage cards, nostalgic cards, whatever you want to call it. Denial Deity, El Magi Mergy, Hazamina, Goblin Biker, XYZ Poseidon, 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 Mant Man. And then we got Abish Shrine, the Atlantean Spirit, uh, which is off center, but it's our first secret for the day. So it'll be interesting. I'm, I'm hoping there's some good cards that are kept kind of. I don't know if we're gonna get a full set list beforehand coming out in the, the mid, I guess we'll call it the mid of November. Obviously everything that came out in a Rarity Collection 2 got banned basically day after. We got Surfacing Big Jaws as an Ultra. I said not really big hits and this on the Ultra side. The Red Eyes card is really cool. We'll see, see if anything of the newer stuff that gets printed uh, tops a ban uh, shortly thereafter. At least Brainwashing, we got Balmonica, Token Support, Reincarnation, Azamina, and Rescue Hedgehog. I just, I just need a quarter century, that's all. Quarter century, uh, Mulcharmy would do me here. It's only three. We got Union Pilot, Abyss Ting, Mimit Totlan, Sangin Furo, Insect Invitation, Flipping Feline, QQ Inagon, Armored Shark, and number 32. Sorry, C32. It's like, let me know in the comments, what's your worst postal service experience? Smash that like button if you don't work for the Postal Service. Zoe the Fiendish Beach. Uh, Chaos, Wandering Titan, Guilt of the Sinful Spoils. We got Phelanop, Sisters, Battle Wasp, Primite Howl, and Azamina Murisilago. Oh, that's, a, that's a name and a half there for an ultra rare. All right, we got quite a few packs left. We've got... One secret thus far, three ultras, and like nine to ten packs left. So, oh, we just skip right to Azamina Debtors. So I'm just gonna bypass all the other cards because this man can't count. I'm too busy uh, laughing at my own joke of uh, smash the like button if you don't work for the postal service. Chaos Star Source, Mint Totlin, Minogul Fork. We've got Tactical Trainer of the Six Samurai, Supply Soldier of the Indestructible Insects, and Anarchist Mark. Summer School Works Successful, and Cursed Fire King Doom Burst, which is our second one of those. That Azamina card, if I could have gotten a century, century, quarter century rare of that, would have been pretty cool. It's a pretty good hit, actually. So the Heart of Blue Eyes in here, we take that too. Newbie, Release Brainwashing. Ragnarika, we've got Virtue Stream, we've got Never Ending Nightmare Absorber, Chaos Holder Queen, Puppet Shark, Tactical Trainer of the Six Samurai, and Final Bringer of the End Times. We just gotta make sure we get the longest card names possible. Hit 20 characters, it's like that, that statement rings true. It's, you stop caring after a certain point. Release Brainwashing, Armed Rebellion, Ragnarika, So the Fiendish Beast, Mant Man, Xyz, Poseidon, Anarchist Monk, Guilt of the Sinful Spoils, and oh, we did get the secret rare, Heart of the Blue Eyes. You know what, I do appreciate that. That one, not as great as the quarter century version, but, I will take it. It is definitely a keep in the collection card. Goes along with the other copies, like on the last one, there's a reprint of the retrain of Dark Magician. I'll keep that too, right? It's, it, it goes in there, it fits. Battle Wasp. 
Never Ending Nightmare, Primite Howl, Insect Invitation, and Battle Wasp, Guard Partisan, The Revolution. The corner of that card looks a little bit bad. All right, we got Battle Wasps, Sangin Furo, Azamina Soul, Avistine, Max Metal Morph, Goblin Biker, Reincarnation Unveiling Male, QQ Inagon, and Goblin Biker Grand Breakout. Super rare only there. Somewhere there's an Ultra left in this. At least one, hopefully. Maybe a quarter century. We did get two secrets already though, so. Aqua Jet, Butterfly Fish, we've got Chaos Star Source Dragon, we've got Heavy Cavalier, Perform Mage, Puppet Shark, Token Support, Valmonica, and Mimigul Throne. Probably actually one of the better Ultra Rares. Dollar value wise, I think. Don't quote me on whether it's actually played in the Mimigul deck. Do we get anything good? Can we? Still tell based on the side of cards. All right, Virtue Stream, a Mint Totland, Mimigul Fork, Wandering Titan of Tartarus, Battle Loss, Primite Howl, Mant Man, Anarchist, and Final Bringer of the End Times. Got a handful of those, almost got a play set. And you know what, I'm gonna go straight through on this one. Puppet Shark, Flipping Feline, oh, Heos Varg, the Mechanical Dawn, and this card has been through its better days. So, nothing else there. We got three packs left, three chances. Here's hoping. Otherwise, we only got part of the blue eyes that carry us. And just another bad luck box for me on this, uh, on this string. Just haven't had good hits recently. Nothing really worth, at least Heart of Blue Eyes is worth kind of adding to a collection, but Mimic Dual Armor, we skipped a few there. Metal Illusionist, tops of the cards are kind of scuffed up a bit. Wouldn't call them mint by any condition. But, you know. That's how it goes. Sometimes you get just strings of bad luck. You need to save them all for the, the big ticket sets whenever those come around. Would have loved to have a Magia. Didn't get it. Primite Roar. But again, that's going around, it seems. Last pack magic. Holding out hope. Quarter century. Anything. Quarter century anything and or another secret rare. Would be great here. So we get, we got Heavy Cavalry, so uh, Azamina, Union Pilot, Super Supply Soldier, Summer School Work, Perform Age, Token Support, and Azamina. So best pull of the day, only thing really worth adding to collection here, Heart of the Blue Eyes. I, I mean, bad luck continues on the pulls uh, in terms of big time hits, but you know, you take what you get. And we're going to catch you guys when Quarter Century Bonanza comes out. And we've been saving up, saving up our luck, hoping that we're going to get there. So I appreciate you guys stopping in. Catch you in the next one. Take care.